friends welcome back to my channel home with Rebecca Jane I am so excited you are here for this video and I am equally excited about everything I am bringing you here today this video is part of a collaboration with some other amazing DIYers right here on YouTube so make sure you check out that playlist and let's go ahead and jump right on in for this first DIY, I am going to be using this one jar that I did pick up from the Dollar Tree, along with two other jars that I already had on hand that I always clean out and save after we are done with a jar of jelly or jam. And I took mine outside and I spray painted them with this black Rust-Oleum spray paint and they did cover it really well. I was really happy with how well they covered. For the first jar, I am going to use this white paint pen that I picked up off of Amazon. This is a small tip pen and they are great. They are awesome at painting small items and they also carry them in larger tips as well. So the first jar, I am just going to paint on some X's and O's and making it look like a game play paint plan that's a tongue twister a game board game plan that a coach would have for a football team I decided to do something a little different with this fall themed video and I decided to go with a football theme my son is in football my boys love football so <laughs> we are football fans in this home so I thought it was very fitting for us when I think of fall I think of football and I hope we have a lot of football fans watching this video so that way you will enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it. And maybe you just have a husband, a son, or grandson that enjoys football and that is a fan of it as well. And you can enjoy making these things for them to enjoy. So for the second jar, I am just taking the wide tip paint pen. And I will have those listed in my description box below if you want to see the exact ones that I got over on Amazon. And I am making some straight lines. I'm putting two down. Now, I didn't use painter tape. That would have made it a lot easier. But I was worried that it would strip that spray paint off with this being glass. I wasn't sure how well it would work. So I just went ahead and winged it and tried to make the straight lines myself. So my goal for this one is to kind of make it look like a referee uniform. So once the lines were dry and I knew I'd be able to hold the jar, I did take my white Waverly chalk paint and I just went in and filled every other section. So you'd have the black and white just like a referee uniform would be. Because I already spray painted it black, it covered really well and only took one coat. And next we are coming to the last jar. And yes, I'm actually going to paint this whole jar in my truffle chalk paint right over the black spray paint. Why did I still spray paint it black, you ask? Because this would have been a little bit more difficult to get the chalk paint to hold. I would have either had to use Mod Podge or I would have had to use multiple coats. And with having it spray painted black first, this brown went on with one coat perfectly, no scratching, no smudging, nothing. Then I'm just going to take that white paint pen again, and I am going to draw lines to make it look like uh, the threading of a football. So I am going to go over it one time, and then I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to let it dry. And then I am going to grab it back with the paint pen again. And I'm going to go over those lines again, making them even thicker. Because the first coat, if I tried to go over it too many times when it was still wet, all it was doing was moving the paint around and wasn't giving it full coverage. Once I let it dry and then gave it a second coat, I was able to make the lines thicker and it just came out perfect. If you are a teacher, I think these would be so cute in a classroom on your desk, holding pens, markers, pencils, things of that nature for this football season and sporting your um, local football team. I did add some twine and beads to the one that was meant for the referee shirt. And I just think they came together so perfectly. They are perfect with football decor. Again, you can use them for so many different things. 
And like I mentioned in my intro, this video is part of a fun fall nights collaboration that Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie put on with some pretty fantastic other DIY YouTubers. So make sure you click on that playlist link down in my description box below and go watch all of these other videos that I'm sure are going to be amazing. I'm excited to go through them all and watch them. So I hope you will do the same and give them all some love. So for this next DIY, I'm going to use this little win banner sign that I'm going to paint and this little football decor piece that I'm going to paint as well. So I'm just going to take all the top layers off and I am going to paint the main layer to both of these in my truffle Waverly chalk paint. I thought both of these would look super cute on a two or three tiered tray. So we are going to paint them and get them ready to go on one that will be in my entryway for the rest of football season. Now, I know I have been gone for a little while. This summer has been crazy busy and I haven't been able to post a lot of videos. It's been a mixture of I was throwing a baby shower for my daughter, which is going to be my very first grandchild. And along with my computer crashing, water leak in the house, I mean, you, I could give you a list. But another reason is a reason I've been working very hard on was I did launch my website with my online store this summer. I am so super excited about that. And these wood items here that you see that I am painting, you can actually find them over on my website. So I will have that linked down in the description box below. You will see more and more DIY kits added to my website every week. So now once all these pieces dry, you can take some E6000, some hot glue. I also just showed you a new glue that I am really in love with. It's a Loctite super glue. It dries really fast, so you don't have a lot of time to maneuver things around, kind of like you do on the E6000, but it holds really well. If you ever are worried about something holding up, especially in the elements, grab some of this Loctite glue. It is amazing. I did paint all of these upper layers in white, but the really neat thing about this little kit is you could paint it in your school colors. So you could ultimately paint these in any colors that you want. Dollar Tree also sells little burlap flags that this would work just as well on, and you could use stickers or stencils to paint on the word when along with the little football things. So uh, you, there's other options even than using the wood version that I am using here. So again, I went back after I got the football glued in place, I went back and I glued the letters in place on my little flag here. Once everything was glued and dried, I did grab some twine. I have plenty here that I always pick up from the Dollar Tree. And I am just going to put it through the little holes on the top of the flag and put them all in place. Now, one tip, if your twine is unraveling and you are having difficulty getting it through your little holes, you can put some tape on the end and it'll tape it down tape it in place and it's super easy then to weed it on through then once I get to the ends I just cut them off tie a couple little knots to make sure they hold in place and then it's easier to hang on my tear stand as well and this is complete and I love the way it looks on my little two tier tray I just think it fits well with that little football and then the jars that I painted earlier in this video, it just all ties in so well together. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. If you are looking for creative inspiration, ideas on how to decorate on a budget, or just looking for a fun community of friends, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the drop down menu so you can be one of the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. So next I'm going to take this little tag kit 
and I am going to paint the football in red to match our school colors and I just painted the tag portion very lightly in white and then wiped it with a baby cloth so that way some of the wood grain would still come through. Then I am super gluing the word football in place. I painted it red to match our school colors because like I said, the nice thing about this is you can do whatever your school colors are. If it's more of you supporting an NFL team or a college team you're obsessed with, you can go with those colors as well. Do whatever matches your decor or your favorite team. Once that is done, then I'm going to take some twine I have from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to add it to the end of that tag. And then I'm going to take these beads that I picked up from Amazon. Anytime I run low, I go over there and grab a big bag and I'm going to put them right on my twine here. Now I will have those beads listed in my description box below with my Amazon link because it's a big bag for a great price. So I really like them. So I personally think it would look really great if you took these beads and painted them in the same colors of the football team that you're going with. I think that would look fantastic. The only reason I didn't is because I'm going to have so much color on my tear tray already. So I left them natural, but I think that would look really cute. And I also think it would look cute to make it much shorter. If you painted the, the beads, you definitely would not have to make it a very long tassel like I did either. Once you get the number of beads on that you're happy with, then just make sure you tie a knot at the end so that way they don't come rolling off. And then I'm just going to take that same twine from the Dollar Tree, wrap it around my fingers to make my own tassel for the end of this. So I just wrap it around as many times as I want. Obviously, the more you do it, the thicker it will be. And then you take another piece of twine and you wrap it around at the top to where there's a little hoop that's left. You will cut the little bottom pieces that are still wrapped in a loop right now so that way they're loose like a tassel would be and voila you've made your very own tassel. Just tie it at the end of the bead so that way you have your tag on one end and your tassel on the other end. So let me know in the comments below which DIY was your favorite today. Let me know if your family is a football family and what your favorite team would be and what colors that you would go with if you were to decorate all these items for your own home. And don't forget, make sure you get over to my website and check out the DIY kits I have over there. And you can buy a lot of these items individually as well. And definitely don't forget to click on that playlist down below. You're not going to want to miss the other videos that we have for you in this collaboration tonight. So everybody have a great week ahead and I'll see you next week.